We're told that one person has been detained while police investigate how this happened. And this incident has led to several street closures in the area as well. Our team coverage of this breaking news begins with Stephen Cheetah. He's live near the U.S. Capitol. So, Stephen, what have you just learned about this? Well, I just spoke with a reporter out of Tampa Bay, uh, Florida, who says that he knows the individual who flew this gyrocopter and landed on the west bank of the U.S., uh, west lawn of the U.S. Capitol. He said that, that it, it was a protest about... Uh, campaign finance reform but this is what we could show you we have some video here of that gyrocopter it landed about 1 30 this afternoon immediately u.s capitol police sprang into action they took the the lone occupant the pilot into custody the bomb squad scoured that aircraft determined that there was nothing hazardous on board the big question the question everyone is asking right now how could an aircraft get this close to the u.s capitol restricted airspace in the post-september 11th world. How did that guy even get in here? That was the big thing. That's what everybody was talking about with the airspace being restricted and all that. How could he fly a helicopter and land on the lawn of the Capitol building, you know? Yeah, now when talking to that uh, reporter for the Tampa Bay newspaper, uh, he just 10 minutes ago. He told me that the, the pilot is a 61-year-old mailman who has long been an advocate for campaign finance reform. And again, just moments ago, we heard from the Capitol Police that nothing hazardous was found. We also do understand charges against this pilot are pending. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. Okay, Stephen, we thank you for that. Now, also, the Associated Press just this released no this way. video right here of the moment that gyrocopter landed on the West Capitol lawn. A tourist captured the video as the pilot flew over a group of kids and then came to rest right there on the lawn. So we're also hearing from witnesses near the U.S. Capitol at the time of this incident. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford continues our team coverage from near the Capitol. Sam. Well, Allison, what is amazing is how normal things are now. After two and a half hours ago, everybody was going crazy around here with this thing flying in. But now uh, the tourist buses are back. People are posing for pictures in front of the Capitol. But it was about 1.30 this afternoon when everybody's eyes swung toward the sky. This is not good, people. No, he's not. Workers, tourists, anybody who was outside the west front of the Capitol section of the mall had their attention captured first by the sound of a helicopter and as quickly by the side of the bicycle with a blade on top, as some described the gyrocopter as it came in for a landing. Given the times, a number of uh, people feared that it was some kind of terrorist incident. Capitol Police told people to run to get out of the way. Groups of visitors, uh, like some college students from West Virginia, recounted what they saw. It comes flying over the pond over there and lands right and it bounces down on the ground and pops up. There's like a box on the back of it, um, but it's just... He landed right there, and then immediately the cops came over and said, get back, get back, go, and start running. Police cordoned off the area, sent robots in to check out the uh, the copter, and uh, it was not a threat. But, of course, people here remember what happened in October of 2013 when this woman named Miriam Carey that came here driving fast with a child in the car, ultimately was killed by the Capitol Police, and now a big scene here at the Capitol again, basically in the same area where much of that happened almost a year and a half ago. Reporting live from the U.S. Capitol, Sam Ford, ABC 7.